As you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be building a hydraulic tube bender completely from scratch. Just a reminder, if you guys are interested and want to follow along fully on this build, I do have the plans for everything here available on my Patreon. It's under tier three, so make sure you guys check that out if you want to follow along. I do have PDF, DWG, and DXF files for the bender arms, both of these. Now the DWG is strictly an AutoCAD file, which you can open on AutoCAD, and the DXF is strictly for laser cutting, plasma cutting, stuff like that. Now if you want to use the plans that I have available, use the DXF file and send that directly to Send Cut Send and ask them to cut that out of half inch mild steel. That's going to be about the cheapest way to do this unless you have access to your own plasma cutter, which will cut costs in half completely. So make sure you guys check that out. Now let's go over the individual parts you're gonna need for this build. Now starting off, you're obviously gonna need the tube bender arms. These were specifically designed to fit the JD squared model three tube bender. And like how I previously stated, these are gonna be available on my Patreon. Next, you're gonna need the material to build the frame for this bender. I'm using two by three by eighth inch rectangle tubing, as well as two by two by 14 gauge square tubing. This is also gonna sit on casters and have a T-frame shape as well. This is gonna be the overall look we're going to be shooting for. You're also going to need the air over hydraulic jack as well as the swag off-road adapter. Since I have everything that I already need, the first step in this process is surface prepping because we are gonna start with the base, the stand for the bender. Now that that's taken care of, we are gonna slide this out of the way and move this to the floor. We're gonna do that because I know the floor is level and it's gonna be nice to be able to use that as the base. <clears throat>
I'm gonna go ahead and put the casters on because I'm not sure if I want this height specifically so far. So I'm gonna put these on to see how high this thing's gonna sit because we might trim off some off the top. <laughs> made a couple of changes or decisions decided that I was going to shorten the top of this five inches <clears throat> so instead of it being 38 I believe it's now what 33 so we're gonna get this tacked into place but not finished welded yet just because I'm not 100% sure if I want to keep it this way or this way and I also decided I'm most likely gonna get another piece of this tubing six to eight inches or so and put it on the back side because this can tip pretty easily like this. I just saw a design that <clears throat> that was exactly like this online and I wanted to do it, but I'd rather play it safe. So I'm probably gonna get another piece of tubing for this, but we're just gonna get this tacked on here. Now while we wait for my swag off-road adapter to come, we are going to dig into the hydraulics that you're going to need for this thing. This is a 8 ton air over hydraulic jack that I got from Harbor Freight, about $120, bucks. That was $110, but I got the two year warranty on it, so I added another $30 on it just to be safe, because they did say some people have sent these back, so I decided not to risk it and just give that uh, two year warranty, because $30 bucks ain't going to hurt for this. Let's open her up. The last thing that I've been waiting for to finish this two bender has finally came in the mail. And so we can finally get started on finishing this project. Last thing we needed was the swag off road two bender kit, converting it from a hand to air over hydraulic. This is the housing that mounts to that, that also holds the uh, hydraulic. So let's get right into it. Got the instructions and I built this off of the JD two uh, model 3, so that's the diagram we're going to be using. I believe we are all set to finally get this thing put together, so let's get right into it.
got to torque it to 70 foot pounds. I saw on YouTube somewhere it said you got to torque that to 70 foot pounds. I'm not 100% sure, but should be fine. You also got to make sure that the bleeder valve is perfectly vertical up and down. But other than that, we are just about ready to test this thing. Got these pins I made for it. Just some, uh, I think it was 13 16 cold rolled round with some washers welded to it to keep them from falling through. So, we are just about ready to get this thing fired up. There she is. I don't really know where this return spring is supposed to mount to because in the pictures online, it's a different hydraulic with a different screw down there. So you guys are going to watch me try and struggle getting this on this little rope, which should work fine for now, but getting it on there is the hard part. Oh yeah, that wasn't bad. That wasn't that bad. Nice. Try it. Not really sure what's going on. I don't, it's not at the max stroke limit because it said the overall max height is 43 inches but it was only at like 35 or 36, something like that. But it's just not bending past that point. It's not bending far enough in order to take the pin out and go to the next hole. So I'm not sure, but I mean, she's bending. It's pretty cool though. Just wish it, I knew why it wouldn't bend correctly. I bled it again, added some hydraulic fluid. Let's see if that makes a difference. Good news, we bled it again. I've taken this thing out of here twice, retorqued it, taken it out, torqued it down again, taken it out. But we bled it again, and it finally went far enough to where I could get the second pin. So we're just going to keep bending and see what it does. We are now on to the third hole. And now we can bend 180 degrees. Now this does have very minimal kinking, but I think that's because I believe this is 063, uh, 063 and this design or this die, you're not supposed to use below 083 because, or because it kinks, but I think 083 and up to like 120 wall, it bends just fine. But this was 063 cause this is just what I had, but 180 obviously there's a little bit of rebound so 
Yeah, that's sick. No more hand pumping anymore. The the pipe pipe bender from Harbor Freight. I got one of these and built this thing from nothing. I love that. That's so cool. And now that it works, it's so relieving. Finally have a good tube bender. I only have one die because I've only I'm gonna start using inch and a quarter, but finally got a bender. This thing's awesome. Well, overall, we got done what I wanted to get done, and that was build a working hydraulic tube bender because this is going to save me loads of time, money, and effort in these builds when I have something that I actually can create a structural, strong bend without kinking the crap out of it, like my, my uh, Harbor Freight pipe bender. But this is I love how this thing turned out. Designed this on AutoCAD, laser cut it at work, uh, plasma cut it at work, and... Now here we are, fully functioning hydraulic tube bender. So if you guys want these plans, please check out my Patreon. They're under tier three. It's a great deal if you ask me, but you have proof it works. So all you gotta do is do it. And it, caught, it saves you at least half the price, half the money if you do it yourself. And it doesn't even take that long. If I had all these parts here on day one, I could have built this in less than a day, easily. But since I was waiting on parts, it just took a while. But we are finally here, and I love it. So that is going to be it for this video. If you guys liked how this turned out, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button, share the content, it really helped me out. But yeah, subscribe. <clears throat>